In this video, I will show you how to make the Nigerian national dish called jollof rice. As complicated as you think it may be, it is easy when you get the ropes. Dear friend, Welcome back to my channel. My name is Edie, and it's okay if this is your first time here. Just don't let it be your last, okay? Here are the ingredients you'll be needing for a healthy, delicious pot of jollof rice. You'll be needing some stock, some scotch bonnet, some red bell peppers, salt. You need very good chicken bouillon cubes. Some very important tomato paste very very important ingredient that you'll be needing for this pot of jollof rice you will also need an onion a large one too some bay leaves now the rice please do not use rice that cooks too quickly i don't know how people use basmati but basmati is not the traditional type of rice for jollof the type of rice that you need is the long grain rice Okay, all right, straight up to the recipe. We're going to start off by deseeding our peppers. We will transfer to a pot. Now you have two options here. You can either boil your peppers down or you could roast them. If you have an air fryer, you can roast them. I simply just go with the boiling method. It has always worked for me and yeah. This is really just to cook the peppers so that when you blend, you blend properly right? Usually if you don't do anything to your peppers, it's not like it's going to be bad or anything, but you end up having a few seeds, a few skins of the pepper still in there, bits and pieces, and it gives flavor as well. Now in your hot oil, you're going to add in tomato paste. I used both of the tomato paste tins that you saw earlier, and you have to fry this for at least 10 minutes, making sure to stir and stir so that it does not burn. And then you go in with your blended peppers, continue frying. This frying process is the most important part of making jello fries. You want to fry until you start to see the oil rise to the surface. In that case, you may have to fry for nothing less than 15 to 20 minutes. Make sure to season with salt, the chicken bouillon. Now you don't wanna go over top with the chicken bouillon because you already have some chicken stock that you're going to use. Listen, do not use the store-bought broth. You want to make your own chicken so that you know exactly what you're putting in. Just season with some curry, some thyme, some black pepper, and you get yourself a very rich, chicken broth. All right, so now we've added that in and uh, it is now time to add the rice. You have to make sure that your rice is washed thoroughly. If you know that white water, you want to get rid of all of that. You may have to rinse a couple of times before finally going in with the rice. And now you're going to cover with foil and then the lid of the pot. You will need to cook on low heat for nothing less than 45 to 50 minutes. Now, when you go back, you'll see that most of the water has dried from the rice. You stir so that you combine. It's not totally dry yet but we're not adding any water anymore. Now this is the real catch. You do not need to add more water to cook the rice till it is soft to your desired texture. Steam is exactly what cooks jollof rice. The longer you continue cooking it in locked up steam, the more flavorful, the more tasty, the richer it will be. That's exactly how to make jollof rice. It is easy when you get the ropes, like I said before. It is not as complicated as most people think it is. Now listen, if you're yet to subscribe to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. I'm just, you know, all about food, family, and lifestyle here. Subscribe, like, and share, okay? And if you would like the more detailed recipe, please check out the full post on foodsterves.ca. Again, that is foodsterves.ca. I hope to see you in my next video.